Hey, what's up guys? Um, as you can see, I blew my hair out. I washed it, deep conditioned it yesterday, put it in four plaits, and then just let it, you know, kind of air dry overnight. Took it down this morning and it was still damp. And so I went in with my Revlon brush dryer to dry it the rest of the way and stretch it a little bit. So this is how it looks. It has reverted a little bit, you know, cause it's with the heat in here, but this is how it looks. It's not real straight, but it is blown out. Um, and I use this just because it was easier to get to. I would have preferred to use the Rev Air. You guys know I love the Rev Air, but it's packed away uh, because we're gonna be getting new carpet down. So I didn't wanna pull all that out when we're trying to pack up and get stuff out of the way. This fit in my drawer over here. So I just pulled this out and used it to um, dry my hair. So here's my shed hair, throw that out. So yeah, now I am going to try to straighten it. I wanna get it as straight as I can so I can look at these ends, assess them and clip them myself. I would prefer to go to a stylist, but I haven't found one that I really want to go to all the time. I do have somebody I could have gone to, um, but then just, I wanted it done today. And you know, you got a schedule and can't get in for a while and all that. And so I just said, I'll do it this time and hopefully maybe by next trim, I can get into a stylist. So I would recommend you guys find a stylist and not clip your hair yourselves because I don't really know what I'm doing. I just wing it, but if I mess up my hair, it's my hair and I don't care. But I don't wanna teach y'all nothing because I don't do it right. And if y'all mess up y'all's hair, I don't need y'all mad at me. So there you go. So I'm gonna show you what I plan on using to straighten my hair. Um, so let me put this away. Now, y'all know I like the Tymo um, straightening brush, and I thought about using it, but then I said, eh, let's not use this today. I've shown them this. Let's use my flat iron. Hope I don't burn my hair. I've only used this, I think, once. So let's use my flat iron, and then I really want to review this. So. I think I may have shown y'all this in a haul, but I'm not positive. But it is a, um, look, I gotta know how to use it. It's a brush, it's a chaser brush. So, you know, when you're using your flat iron, you put this on, brush it down your hair, and then you chase the flat iron behind it. Let's see if I can use this to get my hair a little bit straighter. What I don't like are these, these bristles are really hard. I don't know if they should be that way or not. I'm kind of scared. So yeah, we're gonna try it. I'm gonna try to take little sections because just, you know, normally I don't take little sections because I'm not trying to get my hair bone straight. I'm not a bone straight girl, but I wanna try to get my hair a little bit straighter today just to, uh, and this is probably still too big, but I just wanna see as many of my ends as possible. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this plugged in, get it warming up. I'm gonna take a couple practice rounds to make sure I know how to use this thing. And then I'll come back and let you guys see what I'm doing. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm back. I did the first one. Oh, and now I'm starting on the second one and I'm taking a, trying to take small sections. I don't know how long it's gonna last cause this is, time consuming and I'm not used to doing this and I'm just like you know what I don't know if I want to do this or not so I'm putting the brush on here and I'm brushing down a little bit and then I'm taking my flat iron and I'm just chasing it good I do feel a little bit of roughness on my end so I do feel like I need the trim for sure but yeah there's the first one I do have my flat iron on 375 the next one up is 410 and I did not want to go over 410 but I definitely wanted to 
do a hotter temperature than I normally do because normally when I do it I think I usually stay about 300 and then you know people are like your hair ain't even straight your hair ain't even straight and it's like well I wasn't trying to get it bone straight <laughs> but anyway so ooh, my ear Ooh, guys so yeah I don't know if I'm supposed to go fast or slow or what, but I don't want to get heat damage. So I hope this 375 don't give me heat damage. So I feel like it's getting straighter than normal, but I feel like I can do, try to do another pass, on, at least on these hands. And if I get heat damage, that's where it's gonna be is on the end, so I better leave them alone. But anyway, that's how we looking. So, hair is right here. And guys, it's early. I could, I woke up, um, it's not even eight o'clock yet and I'm doing this. I woke up about um, 6.30 and couldn't go back to sleep. like oh my goodness so I said let me go ahead and get up I said I can do some packing since I said we were you know trying to get stuff out of the way so they can get carpet put down but then I said you know what instead of packing let me see if I can do something to this head and get a head start on this head I was gonna see if my cousin had time who used to be a hairstylist to come over and do this for me but I didn't want to call her this early and then she is now a massage therapist, so she may actually have clients today. I wasn't sure, so I said, Rachel, you need to learn to do this stuff yourself. So I was going to try to do this part myself, but I wanted her to actually clip my ends. And depending on how long it takes me to do this, <laughs> I still might uh, call her and say, hey, when do you have to go in? You got time to swing over here and clip these ends for me so we'll see right now I'm just trying to get it straight my hair is pretty much detangled these bristles are hard on this um, so I don't necessarily care for how hard they are but I guess they have to be hard to um, smooth your hair for the flat iron I'm doing two passes. I think I could get away with one, but I'm doing two just to be on the safe side. So yeah, these ends are getting more and more um, rough at the ends. Flip it down out of the way. All right, all right guys, I had to change my battery. Okay, so you kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna continue to do this around my head and you guys can watch. The preacher said God would never give more than I could handle on my own. But I don't know if I believe that to be true. Because there have been some times when I've been all alone and wanted to give up. But you helped me stand. right through you in ways you will never know so many ways that you'll never know mountain mover bulletproof yeah you made me stronger you had a faith that i'll never So you saw me reverse it. I did the flat iron first, then went in the second time with the brush. I will say that I feel like the brush smoothed better after uh, after going in. And I feel like that I'm getting similar results, if not better results, doing it um, the way that I just did it versus doing the brush first. So 
uh, I think I'm gonna keep doing it like that and see how it goes. Shine right through you in ways you will never know. So many ways that you'll never know. I know that was a little bit bigger piece, but guys. I'm already getting tired in my hand. Y'all know I got this carpal tunnel or something I think going on. So don't be shocked that by the time I get over here, it may be a lot fatter than this side because I may have given up <laughs> trying to go slow. Kings will rise and fall, bending for the fame. The seasons come. And go, and time will bring some pain. But if there's one thing, all right, guys, so I'm done with this whole back section. Look at that girl's length, okay? It's coming in, okay? So, I'm trying to figure out do I want to get it all straight and then trim or trim section by section so I can see it better. But I think I know what y'all want. Y'all want me to get it all straight so y'all can see how long it is all the way around. And then I can go back and trim. So I might, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So hopefully it'll stay straight. So I'm going to clip this out of the way and start on this side. So this is my hair just blown out. And we're going to try to get it. Y'all see the difference? About an inch or an inch and a half, maybe even two inches longer, straightened versus just blown out. Now let me get used to doing it on this side. Okay guys, I'm just gonna work and I'll be back. Yeah, the brush is snagging um, on my ends. How do you girlies with really long hair do this? How are your arms long enough to get down the length of your hair? Oh, ooh, my ear. Okay guys, you see what I'm doing. I'll be back when I'm all done. Okay guys, popping back on real quick. I'm getting through it. My straightening ain't the best, but it's okay. I did call my cousin. She's gonna come over and trim my hair for me. I'm not trying to get anything particular. I don't want her like cutting it in any kind of layers or anything like that. I just want it trim because I make it my hair cut in a shape um, at a later date and I don't want to have to grow out a whole lot of layers. I probably already got some layers from me just cutting it at my leisure. Um, but for the most part, um, I think it's pretty even. But this is how it's looking so far. So I just got this part and hopefully it won't revert before she gets here because she says she won't be here probably for another two and a half to three hours. So y'all know our hair our hair will revert in a minute like i said she used to be a stylist she is no longer a stylist she hasn't been a stylist for a really long time so she hasn't cut anybody's hair for a long time so she could be experimenting too for all i know um but at least she can see the back that i can't see and at least get it even across the back if um possible because y'all know i got that tail back here so that tail may be leaving y'all know that now that tail that tail may be leaving, so. I am starting off with the flat iron this time. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Um, and then I'm going in with this because remember I was saying that my ends were, this brush was getting caught up in my ends and I didn't want to yank the brush through my ends um, that needed to be trimmed off and give myself even more breakage so I thought that this was working a little bit better so yeah I'm trying to do only two passes one with the iron and then one with the brush 
and the iron. And hopefully that will work. And again, I don't care if it's not bone straight. I'm not trying to get a silk press. I'm just trying to get it straight enough for her to see my ends more clearly um, than if it wasn't flat ironed. It's starting to revert some um, on the ends, as you can tell, but I'm hoping it'll last at least until she gets here, guys. At least until she gets here. So basically, I'm just taking um, sections and then I'm like breaking it in half and finger breaking. And that's the amount I'm using. That may be a lot for this size iron, but guys, it's the size iron I got, so I'm going to go with it. And I I can't do much smaller sections than this. It's just going to take too long, and I don't have the patience. This is not something I do all the time, so I probably don't have the patience like some of y'all do to get your hair bone straight using little bitty, bitty, bitty sections and things like that. I still feel like this brush is yanking just a little bit. For me, this brush is easier than if I was to try to chase with a comb. I know some of you guys chase with a rat tail comb. I'm not one who straightens my hair a lot, so my coordination isn't all that great. So this brush works best for me because I can just clamp it on and then just move it down. But for those of you who can do it with a comb, I'm thinking the comb may be just as good but if you're interested in this brush, I do think that it holds the hair taut. Um, but see how I have to struggle on the ends? So I don't, I wouldn't say it's a bad investment if you're interested in it. I'll link it just in case. But be careful with it on your hair because of the bristles. The bristles are hard. And if your hair is so worse than mine on the ends, See how they're kind of little? So if I was trimming it, I would trim probably about that much off. That's probably about an inch or an inch and a half of hair. So don't be shocked guys if I come back after she's um, trimmed it and my hair looks a lot shorter. But um, if your hair is not that bad on the ends, it may not bother you the brush as much. But if your hair, you know you got really bad ends, and your hair is um, broken and damaged, then the brush may not be the best bet. Those are just my thoughts, you know. I don't know. This is my first time using a brush, so I'm just, I'm just talking from what I'm gathering right now. Probably need to use it a little bit more before I really say, but. So far, it helped me today, so I'm gonna say that. I mean, I'm glad I got it. I saw somebody else on um, YouTube using it. Um, a couple people, actually, I can't even remember who they are now. If I if I run across them again, I'll link it, link them, but or mention their names, because uh, y'all know I like to give people their due. But I can't remember right off the top of my head who it was, but it made me think about getting it. So, for the next time I straighten my hair. And that is this time. So, guys, this is my straightened hair. Okay, so it has reverted some because before it was hanging a little bit longer. But I have natural hair. I've been natural for a long time. So, my hair is used to curling up, guys. It's used to curling up. So, I'm going to brush it back and we're going to see how long it is. Now I kind of wish I had clipped it as soon as I got it straight so I could see the ends more because I'm hoping it don't curl up before she gets here, okay?
okay? This side, looking from this side, I always look longer than looking from this side for some reason to me. Look at there, there's my ponytail, guys. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to just, I'll clip it up like this off of my neck and out of the way until she gets here. So guys, stay tuned. So what you thinking? It's not that bad, actually. Okay. I'll say a couple inches. Let me see. Ooh, that's a lot curling. Flatten it out so. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. see how Show you me can where. See, see how you can see through it. So you want to get it to where it's full. I can't, I can't see the back. I can't see through it with your hands. Let's just do about that much. <laughs> let's take it slow. <laughs> let's, take, let's take it slow. I just mainly want it just even and most of the um, scragglies off. Tell me where my hair length is. Let me feel it on my back. Okay, about at my, Lena. Probably about at my bra strap. Okay. Man, okay. Yeah. Yeah, don't take don't don't Look hurt down. me, curling. Don't hurt me so bad. Okay. But after you do that, we'll look at it again and then I'll say, okay, okay go me. go up, okay? Let me just, let me get a mirror and then just look at it real good in the bathroom. And then I'll say, okay, go ahead and take it. But considering curling, I can't tell you the last time I've had a professional trim. I haven't had one in years. So you're saying it don't look that bad considering? It does not. Okay, good. Now that you're doing this, don't you miss it? No. <laughs> all right, that wasn't worth the time, but. Let me see what you, oh, you didn't take out much at all. I wanna see it in the, uh, in the bathroom. Where's my mirror? Now can I cut oh. off where it needs to be cut? Oh, and then where's that gonna leave me? Show me <laughs> on my back. Show me on my back, girl, because listen, I have been trying to grow this hair a little bit so it'll be right there once you chop it off. Yes. Well, now that's on top of my bra. Before it was under my bra. Maybe we get right in the middle. Here, put this back on. Ah, curling, curling, curling. Okay, guys, I got to get a little bit more cut than what I wanted to. <laughs> that's okay, because we want healthy hair, right? I talk health over length all the time. So, you need some clips? <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> I appreciate it. I can start new. And then it won't, you know, when I'm finger detangling or detangling, I won't be feeling those little rough ends. Cause I was about to do it myself and I said, you know what? I was gonna do like I normally do. And I said, let me call my cousin and see if she's home and maybe I can actually get a good trim. So I guess I can't complain now, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> then brought you all the way over here. To negotiate a haircut. <laughs> Makes no sense. Oh, it just sounds so thick, like it's like a lot, like you cutting a lot off. It sounds worse than what you showed me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But yeah, my hair shrinks crazy, and it grows real long in the front. So I cut this front widow's peak area a lot too. It would normally be longer than this, like down here, but I cut it off all the time to try to keep it out of my face. 
Who got it going? Aaron. Okay, let's leave it like this for now. Now what am I gonna do with it? I don't know. Thank you, Curleen. All right, guys, I'll be back. <sighs> okay, guys, I'm back. Of course, I had to wait for her to leave. She visited a while and now she cut more than what I wanted to have to be cut, but I decided health is better than nothing and i still have some good length back there so i'm okay with it i'm surprised it wasn't worse because i was scared because y'all know i have not been to a hairstylist in a long time so the fact that she you know cut this first and then she cut a little bit more it's in my carpet so she cut this and then this um she said it probably all together was probably about two inches. So that's definitely more than what I wanted. But considering, like I said, I have not been to a stylist in years and I just been snipping at it on my own. Um, that's not bad. And now that my ends feel good, it should grow back. No problem. So that's my hair. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will hopefully be back with some styling videos of this straight hair at some point but anyway guys i hope you like this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in my next one bye guys